Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. So today we have a new objective card that EA released for the content drop today. This one is for uh, a Trossard card. Uh, I'm not saying, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right. If I'm not, I completely apologize. Uh, this card right here, this type of objective, right? I personally am a huge fan of. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of in general for the gameplay concept there should be tons of lists with cards like this right Trossard is never going to get a team of the season is never going to get an inform it's a good card to give a special version of a card my thing is that it's not built properly for this game because you have to do these objectives through rivals right here's the thing I'm going to do the objective. I'm probably going to do the Politano objective because as you guys know, I'm playing the game differently. I want to try to... If there is gameplay content starting uh, starting now, I'm going to try to unlock it, right? It's just that, you know, when you're in the higher divisions, it's more annoying to do these objectives, right? If you had a, if you had a matchmaking or you had divisions, right? Where it was divisions 10 to 7, 6 to 4, and then 3 to 1, like you did back in the day, right? 3 to 1 these objectives would be way more fun to do because the matchmaking is more open. A lot, a lot more people are going to be in division three, two, one, right? It's a good, it's a good like matchmaking setting because you obviously don't want to face the low tier players. You want to face competent players. And obviously if you're in division three or competent, even if you lose four five nil, six nil to the big, big dudes, right? That are really good at the game. You're still competent. You're just losing to someone that is significantly better. Like I play Call of Duty, I never come up against a pro player. If I came up against a pro player, I'd get slapped. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it is. Um, and, you know, I probably have come up against pro players. I just don't really notice people's names. Like, who knows, right? This is just the way the, the games work in general. But uh, I am a fan of how this is done, right? I am a fan of the concept of it. Is it, it is a long grind. And I think, for me personally, the only reason why I get upset about these objectives is because what upsets me is that EA didn't listen last year and didn't understand that Rivals, Foot Champs, and Drafts is not a good balance of gameplay content. This card would be so awesome to do under different circumstances. Yo, if I have to win games, because it says right here, score a goal in two separate matches with S... Oh, it's not even winning games. It's just scoring a goal. Oh, this one is wins. And then this one is matches. So there's ones for there's ones for the actual wins and there's ones for the matches. I don't mind that grind personally. I'm a huge gameplay enthusiast for gameplay content. This is gameplay content. It just doesn't work in your current setup. You have it set for rivals. What I'm gonna do personally, and I highly suggest you guys do this too. I might make a video about this uh, another day. Is if you guys are in 1900, 2000. Just relegate yourself to, to 1,500. Win a game. If you win a game, lose the next one. Lose on purpose, you know? Just go into the next game. Give the other person a goal. Give them that skill rating difference. And then just uh, and then just quit the game. I Some of you guys are not going to agree with that. But I'm telling you this right now. The way that this game is currently set up with Division Rivals is wrong. It's wrong, okay? Because you know how stupid it is? Do you know how stupid it is? And this is just a general thing. Because no one... This game should not be based off of meta. It should be based off of trying cards you like and going from there, okay? You see how I'm using this card right here? If I'm an 1850 skill rating, 1900 skill rating, no one's using this type of team, okay? Everyone is using meta. They're all trying their asses off with their meta cards, and I don't blame them. It's just because of the current setup in your game, right? So if you're using a team like this, just freaking relegate yourself. You want to use different teams? Relegate yourself, man. Don't care about what other people say because it's EA's fault that they don't understand how video games should be made. Okay, Division Rivals is a perfect game mode. If you want to get better at the game, you climb the ranking, you face better opposition, and that's how you, you know, you get better at the game. But then you needed online divisions, which you didn't add for objectives like that. It would have been cool, right? If I have to score with freaking uh, Jimenez from Wolverhampton with Juan Moutinho on the team and I can make fun teams to unlock that card, I'm so down for that. But you didn't make that concept. That's the only EA... You got to stop being stupid. The only reason why people complain about these objectives is because these objectives don't make sense for the current setup of your game. It is a hassle. It's not fun to do. Anyone could just go and use a Premier League team, snap little like one little player from Burnley, from, from Brighton and from Aston Villa and then try to score goals with them. It's possible. It's just that it's annoying and it's a nuisance and it's a hassle to do in your game because it wasn't done properly. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you guys 
understand my point of view. You don't have to agree with it, but it's just, I just, I say whatever I, I feel. You know what I'm saying, chat? Um, anyways, you guys have yourself a good day. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.